This tutorial is a procedure for making animated hair in Photoshop using Paths and Puppet Warp. You'll make a braid, guidelines, and wave path. First, draw your braid. It'll be a nuisance to go back and change your drawing once you start applying the puppet warp, so make sure you're satisfied with what you have made. Also, duplicate and hide a copy of your braid just in case you damage your drawing. Next, make your wave path. If you don't have a timeline, then go to the window menu at the top of your screen and select the timeline from the drop-down menu. Then hit Create Video Timeline. Create a new video layer by going to Layer, Video Layers, New Blank Video Layer. Select Pen Tool or Hotkey P. Alt to add handles, command to grab. Now select your brush tool or hotkey B. Make sure your brush is big and bright so you can see the line clearly. Make sure that the video layer is still selected in your outline. Go to the path tab and select the circle symbol to make a line. The pen tool works like a stamp applying the shape of the SVG. Drag over to the next frame. Change the form of the pen path. Again, apply the line by selecting the circle symbol. Now to animate your braid. Select the braid, right click, select convert to smart object. Now we will apply the puppet warp. Go to edit, puppet warp. Apply pins on the ends and middle. You will likely find the movement of the pins to be wobbly as you make more frames. So it's best to make guidelines to help scoot your pins around. Go to Edit, Puppet Warp. Apply the pins on these guidelines. Align the pins with the wave line and the guidelines. Extend the image layer. Drag over to the next frame. Select the scissor option and repeat the procedure. Added another pin to get the right shape. To export the braid with Alpha, go to File, Export. Name it, select a folder, I already have it in my hair folder. We're going to change the format to QuickTime, and then the Alpha channel will be straight unmatted. Then Render. If you want the braid with a background, then go to File, Export, Name it, select a folder. Format should be H264. And then it's ready to render. Then drag it from the Finder into Premiere. You're all set. You can now work with it into the rest of your project. For more ways to apply Puppet Warp to hair, it's best to work out the movement by drawing it out on a video layer first. Apply it to flowing hair, to buns, to shadows. You can apply it to any animated object that you want to maintain more detailed consistency. Thanks for watching and happy animating.